Right, I've just been sat drinking my water and drinking my Red Bull. I've been having to think what I want to do next. Now there is a couple of um, like temples nearby. I've got shorts on, don't know whether I'll be allowed in them. However, there's something else. And it's not normally my kind of thing. It just looks so good. I feel like I need to go. So it's about half an hour walk from here. Because it's not raining, I'm just gonna walk. I'm not getting in another taxi. I'm gonna walk there and just see if I can see anything on the way. But I think you're gonna enjoy it. I've had to buy a ticket, which is not like me. Um, but yeah, I've got a ticket and we're going in. Now, what, what I will say is, even though they are like city busy streets, look at this. Look how much greenery there is here. Like everywhere you go, like even look, this massive skyscraper. If you look in the middle of it up there, there's even bushes and stuff up there. So there's stuff everywhere. It just makes it feel, I don't know, a little bit nicer. And it's not fake, it's all real flowers and, and stuff. It's cool, I like, quite like the feeling of that. Now, I was just looking at this place on the way past. It's called Han Hot Pot, 1991. But some of the, some of the things are weird. You've got fat beef, you've got lettuce, one serving, chicken feet, dried tofu skin, crispy fried pork, which is pretty normal. And then you've got internet celebrity potato shreds. What? What, what does that mean? I don't understand. Internet celebrity potato shreds. What? Now I just came off my route slightly just to show you these. I think these are like colonial houses. I reckon these are back in the day when the Brits were here. One sec, let me show you. So we've just come from like where the skyscrapers are and things like that, but then you just come down a little back street. You've got these, look. These houses that are pretty cool to be fair, and they're all the way up. I'm just walking down the middle of the road here, but the car don't come. But yeah, totally different style. You've got the old like places selling full chickens in the window and stuff like that. I have got a car about to run me over, so <laughs> better shift. But yeah, look at the uh, these style buildings. Then just very, very like, old fashioned in comparison to like buildings behind like that. They're really good. You might not be interested. It might not be something that you like looking at, but they're all the way down there, look. That's quite cool, I think. Weird, really, what I find interesting, but I just think seeing the differences in style between that and the, the skyscrapers, it's uh, quite contrast, really. Right, look at this place in a minute. So skyscrapers again, and then look here. Look at this building, Raffles Hotel. Look at the guys that, that sort your car out and everything. How cool are they? I don't know, I've heard of Raffles, but that is, that is pretty impressive, that place. The cars look decent outside as well. So I'm guessing it's, it's quite expensive to stay in there, but it's like you get the Maharaja looking after you, it's brill. Right, so I've just had a look at this place and the most basic double room for one night is £749. If you want to go in a suite, it's £6,500 for the night. What? But yeah, some of, the, uh, some of the rooms in there look amazing to be fair. Really, really good. Anyway, we're getting closer to where we're going now. So the Raffles Hotel that we've just been looking at, that is also the Raffles Hotel, that massive thing there. But obviously this is the, the one with like billiard rooms and all the things from back in the day. I would love to stay there, I really, really would. Right, so I'm just walking through like a little bit of greenery in the middle of the city. Look at this for a, a monument. It is massive, that. Absolutely massive. It's obviously for the Second World War, 1942 to 1945. I don't know what that, Tugu, I always, I never should start attempting to read these things. Tugu Peringatan Bage Mangsa Awam Pemirentathan Japon. 
just always so good in the Yorkshire accent, isn't it? <laughs> Not an idiot. Now before I show you inside here, look at this, I keep seeing them knocking about. They're called duck tours, look at that. It's like a boat, bus, duck. What the hell is that thing? Right, the Wacky Duck Singapore Heritage Tour. That is mad. It's like an old repurposed, I, I don't know, military thing or something, I don't know, but it's weird. Right, so just reading this here, it's quite good. This is something that actually doesn't happen very often. So, it tells you why they're here and they're in different languages and stuff, but basically, each pillar represents one of the four races that make up Singapore. So I'm guessing like Chinese, British, Japanese and something else, I'm not sure. But it's to represent the struggles in the war. However, it's for civilians. You never see war memorials for civilians. But think about the bombings and the stuff that happened. Right, there was deaths, and it wasn't just war personnel that, that died, so it's actually quite good that they've done this. I quite like that, this idea. And it's all in, like, different writing all the way around as well. It's, uh, it's quite good, that. Ah, look, over there in the distance... That's Marina Bay Sands Hotel, the one I wanted to stay at. Doesn't look quite as impressive in the daytime, does it? Um, but I'm going up to the top of that tomorrow night. I think it's tomorrow night. It's either tonight or tomorrow night. I think tomorrow. Um, but you can't go in the swimming pool unless you're a guest. I am gutted. Also, look at this. What is this? What is that building? Some really interesting buildings knocking about. Like I was saying though, right in the middle of the city and look at all the greenery and this it's, it's sort of a, it's not even really a park it's just for the the memorial there so it's only a small area but if you look all the way up the streets like right up there look you've got trees and, and greenery it's just so nice it's so nice in a city right so i've just come under an underpass what the hell an underpass to get from one side of a big road to another. I don't know what's going off down here. So we've got these guys here. We've got this guy, I don't even know what he's doing. What is he, what is he on? What's on his feet? I don't understand. This is just a bit mental and then there's just people sat around everywhere. But I don't get that thing that's on his feet and we have to have a bit of a closer look and these guys don't seem very organized but they seem to be enjoying themselves <laughs> look at them look at Eric Green Bottoms she's well into it look. she's loving it there all right look at the things on his feet they like work I can't even do it because he's moving so fast Where's he gone they like roller skates, but they're not attached to your feet. They are bizarre, man. I wish I had got my skateboard. It'd be so good in here, because it's so smooth. And then, oh God, these two are off now. What is going on in here? That is just not what I would expect of an underpass. Like you just normally in England, you get drunks and homeless people, not dancing, dancing people. <laughs> rollerbladers and, uh, and whatever he is I love it like, this is why I love seeing the world this is why I love seeing different places like think about Italy and the sort of laid-back way of life then like yesterday in Malaysia it was more like hustle and bustle and then it's just strange here but good I think of all the different countries I've been to and how different it is in each one. I love it. I love just seeing things differently. Now I'm nearly very close. Went for a pedicure. 
which is not the sort of thing I would normally do. But the reason I was going to is when I did my hip, I can't bend properly still to get to my feet. So I can't cut my toenails. <laughs> it's disgusting. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I can't cut my toenails. I can't get to that foot properly. My other one's fine, but that one is, I've got some sort of like big, long little toenail. It's as long as my actual toe. It's hurting my foot. So it's sticking my shoe. This is, dude, why am I telling you this? But I almost went for a pedicure and then I thought, I just can't show them them bloody feet. I'm gonna have to wait till I get home and I don't know who's gonna do it for me at home either, but, but it hurts. <laughs> Now, like I mentioned, I've been trying to get Freddy a football shirt. And I thought, oh, he's got a local football shirt on. Only to zoom in and realise it's a Premier League um, Crystal Palace, I think, that shirt, which is ridiculous. Why can I get a Crystal Palace shirt here? And Liverpool, but nothing local. So frustrating. Right, I don't know if you remember the other night, we were stood just over there next to the famous Merlion. Like what a merlion is, I, d I don't really know. It's a mermaid mixed with a lion. But we were stood on the end of here. I sat on there and there was literally nobody there apart from me and about three people. And then we went for that juice underneath the bridge there. But that's the Fullerton Hotel. That looks really old as well. And then you've got the massive skyscrapers. I think it's mad seeing that big building that's been there probably over 100 years next to all these massive skyscrapers that have only been put up in the last probably 30 years and then we've got that bad boy again and the big wheel over this side it is impressive it doesn't do it justice on camera if i'm being honest but yeah i'm glad look how busy it is that now over there i'm glad we went when we did to be fair see the thing is i was thinking why can't why don't i bring my drone down at night and film this even though I'm not supposed to but I'm thinking it's too high even my drone like the limit it will go up to is probably halfway up that I don't think it would even go that high oh there's people up there look that's where I'll be going on the viewing gallery tomorrow night at sunset no doubt there will be no sunset it'll be like this grey no sun at all although it's bloody warm again that wind, not wind, when that rain disappeared, the temperatures just started rising and rising. Anyway, we're going just over behind here somewhere. I've got no words, to be fair. Absolutely no words. It's quite a, a, a strange choice of headwear, really. I wouldn't mind, but he didn't really have very much air. So if, if it was raining and he didn't want water on his head, plastic bag's a bit of a weird one. Now apparently they are putting up a brand new attraction here, something that's going to be bigger and better than anything else. But I don't know what it could be to sort of top that. That bridge is cool though as well, isn't it? That's really good. I don't know what this thing is here. It looks a bit like a broken egg. I don't really get it. I've walked so far, my feet are killing, man. My feet are burning. I did, I ended up doing 16 miles yesterday, 14 miles the day before. I'm not sure what I'm on today. So that's 30 miles without anything from today. And I feel like I've walked so far today, but I enjoy it. I like walking. I do like walking. Just catches up with you after a bit. I know I've shown it you about 14,000 times, but it's just impressive, isn't it? This whole thing's just so impressive. Somebody said the other day, is it, are you in New York? I don't think it looks anything like New York, although I've never been, so I suppose it's photos and stuff. But yeah, mega cool. Right, there's a bird up there. I don't know if it's a seagull, but if it's a seagull, it's massive. It is a, I don't know if it is that. It's like the size of an eagle, not a seagull. I don't know what it could be. There's a bird up Scotland that's like that, that's massive. It reminds me of that, but I don't know if it is. I can't remember the name of it there. It's hard to show you because it's, it's quite far away. It's got something in its beak, I think. But it's massive. I can't really tell. When I start zooming out, it's 
can't really tell how big it is, but it is. It's gone now, but I know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's an albatross, which you do get in the highlands up towards the islands like Orkney and stuff. You don't really get them very much over near us, but apparently they're quite common around here. I think it is, I think it's an albatross, massive bird. I, I swear around every corner you go around there's something weird going on. I, obviously it's for the gram, but... <laughs> what is going on man? Anyway, let's, uh, we're gonna go through these shops to get to where we need to go. There's just shopping malls everywhere. <laughs> That's mad. That's going to be showing up somewhere on Instagram. God knows who he is there. Right, I've come in this mall just to show you, but then I'm going back outside. Look at... Oh, my Lord. Right, look at this, and then look down here. My God, I'm scared. Of, I'm going to drop this, because I'll smash someone on the head with it. Look at that. It's just huge. They're just everywhere, and they're massive. This one's really impressive as well. On the outside, you can't see in. But on the inside, you can see out. That just looks so cool. All the people down there, they look like projections, but they're not, they're actual people. It's crazy. I honestly, right, that is brilliant. That is so good. Like, really, really good. But, do you know what I think is hilarious? Look at this. So yeah, I was just looking down here, and I noticed in Starbucks, there's a monk on his phone, on his mobile phone, studying Starbucks. What? 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 That's just crazy. I can't get over how good this is though. It's so good for the kids. And actually, if you look, all the like frogs and things are bouncing about and you can go and splat them with your feet. The kids are running around trying to splat the frogs. That's just really cool. It's such a good thing that. Anyway. We're never going to get to where I want to go at this rate. There's too much to see. So like I said, I only wanted to pop in here to see that. And just to show you how big the place is. But I want to go back out here. Because this bit outside looks really cool. And once again, it's that element of sort of natural next to sort of man-made. And I, I love it. So earlier on I was saying I wasn't sure what this is. It's actually the... Art Science Museum. I actually think it's a massive lotus flower now I think about it, because it looks like it, but look at this up here. Look at the water lilies. And then, oh, it could be a, a lily, I suppose. But look, look at them over here. There is so many, and then the backdrop of that as well. So let me cut across here. Well, that's if we can get across. Seven minutes later. There we go. Right. But yeah, look, how beautiful are these? How wonderful is that? With that reflection and everything as well, and all of those up there, and that backdrop. It's mad, it's so beautiful. Not gonna lie, I'd quite happily go and stand underneath that. Looks uh, quite refreshing. It's so cool here. I, 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 I know I've banged on and banged on about how amazing the views are and stuff. I just like it here. And I didn't know if I was going to love somewhere like Singapore, but actually I really do. I think it's really good. Now, a lot of the time I get people saying, oh, you take lovely photos to say you take them on your phone. And I'm usually like, ah, they're just all right. They're just photos. But I've just taken one and I've got to say, it is probably my favorite photo I have ever, ever taken. I'll put a photograph of it in now. And I don't know why, there's just something about it that just makes me think like that's really cool. And it sort of sums up this place. But anyway, I'll stop showing off there. Finally, the sun seems to be making its way through. So hopefully it won't be as gray, but also, it means it's going to be a lot hotter, which is, I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Right, we need to hook through the middle of the shops at Marina Bay Sands. What is that? What is this? What, why is this here? Roll pennies in it, or is it water that goes down it? 
don't really understand. Anyway, still can't find a sports shop. There's Gucci, there's Prada, but there's no bleeding football shirt shops. Yeah, like I said, if you're looking for a Gucci bag or a Hublot watch or some Chanel, then you're fine. But a local football team shirt, no chance. I've even messaged the actual teams on Instagram and said, look, I'm coming over, do you sell them? No reply at all. I just want a shirt. I want to get him a shirt. <laughs> and the, the Singapore national team shirt is horrendous, so he's not having that. Right, we're directly underneath Marina Bay Sands now. It is very tall. Ridiculously tall, to be fair. But we need to go behind there. I keep trying to find a way around, but I tried to go up there and they're doing some work. So I'm gonna have to go back sort of the way I've come, across the road over there. That is massive, man. It is so big. Right, so, I, my maps are telling me I need to go that way. I'm going to Gardens by the Bay, but it says it on there. But that's sort of taking me into the hotel by the looks of things. Have you noticed that at the top? See how it's almost like liquid? This metal on here almost looks like liquid. That is bizarre. That is really weird. I'm going to go in the lift anyway, see where it takes me. Worst comes to worst, I'll just come back. Right, so that's brought me up here. Uh, still, let's have a look. Ah, gardens by the bay, this way. So I am going the right way. Thought I'd just totally come the wrong way. But we get in there. It's like I stop filming and then I feel, right, I need to start filming again. We're inside. Yeah, we're inside Marina Bay's hotel. Marina Bay Sands Hotel. They're the balconies for all the hotel rooms. Look there. All the way up. There are all the rooms. These are the ones down here that are 500 pound a night. Guessing that's all the restaurants for the hotel look. Down there. So we're inside the place. So yeah, like I was saying, every time I think that I've shown you like <laughs> everything and I don't need to film for another five minutes. We're back somewhere else that's like so impressive and so different. And then we're going out here now, which is mad, this place. Now, if we thought it were green before, it's gonna get a whole lot greener up here. There's gonna be a lot more stuff to see. Look at this for a start. Well, first of all, look at the color of the sky over there. It's very yellow. I don't know if that's pollution or what. It's very, very yellow over there. And then we've got these. They're just this one in front of us there as well. They all light up at night. Now, I booked some tickets to come to part of this place. I don't know which bit it is that I'm booked into. The bit with the big light up bits, I don't think is part of what I've, I've paid for, but I don't know. And I tried to book a different bit and it wouldn't let me do that either. <laughs> so not quite sure what's going on, but we'll enjoy it regardless. Right, you get a bit of a better view of the hotel, actual balconies and stuff here. Uh, I'm hoping I'm not going to start filming some naked person unless they're a very pretty lady and then I don't mind so much. That makes me sound like a massive, I may as well just be Andy. I may as well just be a massive pervert. But yeah, look, see what I mean? The yellow sky over there. It's very, very odd. Anyway, let's keep going. Right, so with Marina Bay Sands behind me, what is in front just looks, it's like night and day. You've got a big city, and then in front, we've got, we've got this. Look at this. Now, obviously, it'd be so much better if the sun was out, but this place is just pure like, gardens and flowers and pretty things, and that's what we're gonna go and have a look at next. Right, so I already had a ticket to go in part of this. And then there's an amazing light show tonight that I really, really, really want to go to. So, I've booked, as well, an extra ticket. So, I'm going to go in that. Although, there's like a walkway around. I've not booked that, and I sort of wanted to. I thought that would be what they recommended for the light show, but she said it's better on the floor. So, 
I've, I've got what she's she said, so we'll have to see how good it is. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get in there and we'll not be have to be like this constantly. But anyway, so what I've thought is because this is for the flower dome and the cloud forest that I've just booked, and the other one is for the floral fantasy. God, look at me with all the flowers. No wonder people think that I'm gay. Um, but yeah, so we go. To, we'll go to the floral fantasy now. Then I'm gonna go for some food. So I'm gonna walk back across the bridge, go get some food, and then we'll come back later for this when it goes dark. So we've got to get back for maybe seven o'clock, and it's only about four o'clock now. So I'm not waiting here for three hours. Um, so yeah, I'll probably go and get some food. I'll, I'll force myself. Right, I've now been told there's a 4D show on here, which is at 5:45. So that means I'm gonna have to wait around. But look at it in here. This is mad. are absolutely amazing and they're all living flowers it's not just stuff shoved in or or fake ones it's really good just look at them now this is just mad it's just such bright colors and so many lovely flowers and it smells beautiful in here look at this up here as well it's got big balls of <laughs> big balls Big balls of flowers descending from the ceiling. It's just all very strange. I've never been anywhere like this before, where you get big balls shoved on your head. <laughs> you know what I mean there, look at that. That's crazy. I don't know what it is about Asia, but things do seem a bit more sort of magical and I don't know. I suppose they probably think with like Harry Potter and things like that, that it's more magical where we are, but it just all seems oh, like a bit like a fairy tale. I think our Freddie would have loved this when he was maybe a little bit younger. So, but yeah, you've got birds made out of roses, huge dragon there, look as well. It'd be great for photos, just a shame there's nobody here to take any photos of me. I can't take them myself, they all end up looking rubbish. This is Brill. You can't really see it on camera, but the lights are shining down through the water. It just makes it look 
so protect. So nice. I I'm not going to lie, I do want to get in here. Being in the sea yesterday has just made me want to be back in water. I love being in water. I'm a bit scared of it, to be fair. I've had a couple of issues in water before. But this sort of thing is amazing. Just look at that. We've got the merlion again. I, don't, I really don't understand what the merlion's all about, but it's uh, obviously a Singapore thing. I should probably look into the history of that because things dangling down on me. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I just almost dead butted that woman. Um, but yeah, I should probably look into it. I'm going to get this bookmark for the book to go in the book it's $9.50 not that that matters whoever wins is going to get a good prize anyway but this is actual real pressed flowers from this place so you're going to get something from there does it say it on here? handmade in Singapore it just says something on it so I just wanted to make sure that it said something on there so you knew you get it in the full packet anyway costing me a bleeding fortune this book is but I don't care because I think it's going to be a really nice prize for someone really think that someone's going to like treasures the stuff that I've brought back some people are like oh you should save it for yourself and I sort of would like to in a way but you know what I've got the memories up here so I'm happy with that right I've got just less than an hour to or oh, maybe about an hour to go and get some food well, I don't actually know if I'm going the right way now I have a feeling I need to be right up there. But yeah, I want some food. Because I haven't, apart from that breakfast, I've not eaten all day and it's like six o'clock now. So I know I should be eating. Just don't understand why I don't want any. And I've been looking forward to the food here so much because I love Chinese food and it's very similar. Asian food is just brilliant anyway, regardless of whether it's China, Japan, Singapore, India, anywhere, Thailand, it's all good food. So I am desperately, desperately needing to eat stuff. I need to do it. Right, let's try and work out how to get out of here. So I'm pretending to film that big wheel, but I'm actually more interested in why that lad went, you know what, dad, let's go out in matching trousers. <laughs> what, what is happening here? What, seriously, what is going on? At that age, if my dad had said, look, let's put matching trousers on, I would have been like, no. <laughs> it's mad, this place. Right, so following on in the theme, um, I know what, we'll just, us two, put the same on as well. What is, what is going on? What is, what is happening? What, what is it, like matching day or something? I'm just going to get down here and like... I actually don't know what I'm going to say next. I'm going to get down here and everyone's going to be wearing the same. Talking absolute turd now. This is cool though, up here. Oh my lord, look what I can see down there. I didn't realise there's, there's gondolas, like, like boaty type things, look. Going through the middle of this shopping centre. Right, am I off my head? I walked through here earlier on. How did I not see this? I literally walked to past Hublo and all that so how did i not see the gondola boaty things underneath here i'm off my head me look one there and i literally was stood up here in my defense stood on this level next to gucci where i was you can't actually see the boats at all so 
I'm fine, I don't feel quite as bad now. Right, I need to work out where food places are quick. The thing is, looking at the, the shops along here, you've got Dior, Celine, Balenciaga, Hermes, Saint Laurent, Yves Saint Laurent. You've got all sorts of big name, Versace, things like that. So my guess is the food places are gonna be really expensive around here. And I'm tight as old, you should know this. So I don't know what to do now because if I go too far, I'm gonna to be too far away to get back in time. But I also need to eat because otherwise it's gonna be nine o'clock before I eat. And it was I don't know, 10 o'clock or something when I ate this morning. So I don't really wanna go like 11 hours without food. I told you it was gonna be expensive. So I've come for food. The food doesn't look that bad, but the drinks are that bad. So I've gone for a Coke, which I have no idea how much it is, but a pint of Stella is $18, which is equivalent to about £11 a pint. I already smashed down my Coke. <laughs> now I'm on to the lager, and I'm even considering a, day, a cocktail. I don't know what to get, but it's $20 each, which is like £16. So it, it's racking up a little bit. This is definitely coming out of my own money. Right, calamari's come. And you know what? It wasn't actually that expensive for the calamari. About the same as the beer. The calamari was 20 and the beer was 18. That's crazy. That's mad. But I suppose it's imported, isn't it? So that'll be why. Yeah, I was waiting for the next bit of my food order to come before I ate this so I could get really good photos, but it doesn't appear to be coming yet and I cannot wait anymore. <laughs> I'm literally staring at it thinking this does look so good. So I need to crack on any. Unless it's coming there. Oh no, it's someone's pizza. Right, I'm gonna get on with this calamari. Right, so just as I start on these, this turns up. Look at the size of that. That is absolutely massive. I've ordered far too much food as usual. But it is beautiful. these are beautiful. So that is gonna be as well. Right, I'm gonna head to the light show. However, it's on from at half past seven and half past eight, and it's just about half past seven now. So there's no point going to watch it now, but there is other things I can look at. Just look at this. This is amazing, this place. That's the floating Louis Vuitton building. Look at these palm trees that just look so good. Such a wonderful place, it really is. And I know it's high rises and things like that, but they're pretty. I think they look really pretty. They've been done really well. I honestly don't think I will ever come anywhere like this again. I really don't. I suppose there's places like Hong Kong and stuff that are similar to this, but I am genuinely impressed, like massively, massively impressed by the place. It's clean, it seems safe, apart from if you like, getting sexually stalked and then murdered in your bedroom like I almost did but it's tr I just I can't get over the place like nowhere I've ever been is like this nowhere anyway I'm gonna shut up rambling on about it now <laughs> 